In Saudi Arabia, everything is possible and to show a button. For example, shall I give an example? Imagine you're skiing on winter vacation in Saudi Arabia. <laughs> Hold on, winter holidays in Saudi Arabia? Yes, guys, you heard me right. As I just said, it's now possible to have a winter holiday in Saudi Arabia. How does? Well, of course, with an engineering marvel. Let's take a look at how to ski in a desert and Arabia's crazy project, Trojina Resort. Saudi Arabia officials have announced that it has won the right to host the 2029 Asian Winter Games at its Trojina Resort, which is being designed by Saha Hadid Architects, UN Studio, Adidas, Lava, and Bureau Proberts as part of the Neom development. By the way, if you don't know about Zaha Hadid Architects before, you're missing out. The world's craziest architectures are produced by this company. So if a project has Zaha Hadid Architects, anything is possible there. I got you even more excited, didn't I? Well, let's continue. The 2029 Asian Winter Games will be hosted at a 60 square kilometer skiing and outdoor activity resort that is set to be completed in 2026 as part of Neom, a renewable energy powered region under development in Saudi Arabia. Neom Chief Executive Nadim Al Nassar explained what about this. Trojina will have a suitable infrastructure to create the winter atmosphere in the heart of the desert to make this Winter Games an unprecedented global event. And here's the more detail about this crazy resort. The resort, which will offer you year-round outdoor skiing, is being built around 50 kilometers from the Gulf of Aqaba coast in a mountainous area that has elevations ranging from 1,500 to 2,600 meters. It will be the first location in the country where outdoor skiing will be possible. That's just ridiculous. The master plan was designed by Lava, which has also designed a tunnel-shaped development described as a futuristic folded vertical village by Neom. Alongside the village will be a man-made freshwater lake designed by Bureau Proberts, while Zahadid Hadid Architects come up with other elements of the design, said Neom. Aidaz is designing the ski village itself, while UN Studio will create a series of ski slope villas. In total, the development will contain more than 3,600 hotel rooms and 2,200 homes. Now look at that masterpiece, guys. That's insane. Apart from that, the resort is one of 10 regions being developed as part of Saudi Arabia's Neom region. It will be connected to the Line Mega City, which is being built on as another major component of the Neom development. Unveiled earlier this year, the Line will be a 500 meter tall mirror clad skyscraper that is being designed to house 9 million people. Well, if you are an amateur, you may ask, can I ski here? Yep, don't worry. Being able to ski outdoors will become a unique feature of Trujillo, a place that will allow you to live a unique and unprecedented experience of the region, especially in the Gulf countries characterized by their desert climates. So, both amateurs and professionals will be able to enjoy the numerous ski slopes at different difficulties with a set of impressive and high contrast views. The blue waters of the Red Sea, the beauty of the Neon Mountain Ranges, and the golden dunes of the desert will provide skiers with an unprecedented experience that combines these diverse environments with moments of fun and adventure. The complex will also include the slope residences, which will be located near the ski slope with views of the lake designed to blend into the surrounding landscape, as well as luxurious mansions, panoramic views designed to reflect the beauty of the surroundings. The new tourist destination, which will operate throughout the year, will consist of a series of infrastructures such as the ski village, luxury family, and wellness complexes, a wide range of shops and restaurants, as well as sports activities such as the ski resort skiing, water sports and mountain biking, as well as an interactive nature reserve. Stop, stop! You merely go to look at the air ticket prices for Arabia. The construction of Trojino is expected to be ready by the end of 2026, so it'll be able to host the Asian Winter Games in 2029. If you want to take a winter vacation, well, keep looking at the Alps or the famous ski resorts in Turkey until 2026. Fortunately, they're the places we can recommend for now. So what is the environmental impact of this resort, which provides winter tourism in the desert? We're not only ones asking this question, so what's the answer? Well, let's see. According to Green Place, this place is dangerous, guys. Saudi authorities claim that the new Trojina Resort is in countries northwest will operate on sustainable infrastructure and renewable energy, but Greenpeace campaigners have questioned the project's environmental credentials. And Ahmed El Dhrabi, regional campaign manager for Greenpeace, said about the issue that you're changing a natural ecosystem which can have compounding impacts. You change something in one place, it may change something else in another place, and so on, and it can have impacts on neighboring ecosystems. I don't even know if we have the capacity to predict and model such impacts, and it's a very dangerous thing to do to massively alter ecosystems in this manner. So what do the Arabian authorities say about this? According to them, this project does not harm the environment. The AM is designed to be completely carbon neutral, running on 100% renewable energy. However, campaigners have criticized the project's environmental impact. Ahmed El Jarabi points to the lake as one example. If you have to consistently be fed with water and therefore will continue to utilize massive amounts of energy on a long-term basis, even if it's powered through renewables, it's a waste of energy, he said. 
Just because something is powered by renewable doesn't make it sustainable or environmentally friendly. There are other factors. We obviously didn't know that. Of course, we would prefer structures that cause the least damage to the environment. But there is an interesting point here. I didn't tell you the cost of the resort before, did I? Because the project is also a mega project. Hence, it costs a lot. As I said, Trojita is poised to be the new global designation for mountain tourism. It'll be a year-round tourist spot that offers unique wintry experiences that those in the desert climates in the Gulf region would likely never have had before locally. The new development is part of the larger $500 billion NEOM project. $500 billion. Well, that's just ridiculous. After such a cost, you may ask why is Saudi Arabia building a green city in the desert? Well, we can explain it like that. The NEOM development is part of the Gulf country's efforts to diversify away from oil. Kingdom is currently the world's biggest crude oil exporter. The plan contains a 160 kilometer long horizontal skyscraper known as the Line, which is 200 meters wide. Futuristic development could supposedly house up to 9 million people. However, El Drabi warned that the project will largely benefit the super wealthy. My question is is there a need for this? Is there a need for really expensive high end housing in the city? He said. Who needs housing in the region? There's an oversupply of real estate for the rich elite. Yes, the situation is also really unknown. However, especially recently, Arab countries have been doing great things, especially in the field of construction. Remember the stadiums that Qatar built for the World Cup? Of course, Saudi Arabian's authorities have a plan while carrying out this project. When we look at the outside, as I said throughout this video, it's truly a fascinating resort. I'm sure you've been impressed too. Then, what shall we say? Prepare your ski gear. We're going to Saudi Arabia. And that's it for today's guys. If you enjoyed the video, if you learned something new about the Saudi Arabia Snow Resort in the desert, hit that like button, hit the subscribe button, and the bell icon too for notifications. Peace, love everybody, and we'll see you in the next video.